everyone, and welcome to our instructional video on how to pair the Calypso AB Mini to the AB Quantum app. The latest update brought some more device integration, and one of those devices is the Calypso AB Mini. I'd like to go over a couple administrative things before we get started, and uh, really some important things to do before you try to pair your Calypso AB Mini to the app. The first thing that you should do is make sure your Calypso is fully charged. Please do not try to pair it to the app until you've given it a good charge. That way that if you have to do a firmware update or if you want to use it and try it out, you've got enough battery to do that. Another thing that AB Quantum can do other than update firmware on these and use them in real time for shooting solutions is AB Quantum can pair the Calypso AB Mini to a compatible laser rangefinder. And there's a number of them out there, so I'm going to turn one on right now. And I want to make sure I can see it in the app. So this rangefinder has actually already been paired to the app. It's gone through the pairing process. And you can do that um, on your own on the side. But I want to make sure I can see both devices in the app before I try to pair these two devices together, which we're going to do later in this demonstration. I'm on the devices screen. I can get there by just navigating here through the bottom uh, navigation bar if I tap on any one of these. You can see I can navigate through these screens. If I was on the home screen, I would just simply select devices from here. Once we're on the devices screen, you can see we have no active devices at the moment. You can see the devices grayed out here as well. It's also grayed out here because nothing is actively paired. That'll change in a minute. Now what I want to do to pair the Calypso AB Mini to AB Quantum is I want to tap on it when I see it here in the devices menu. So I'm going to tap on this. That's going to bring it up. You can see connection status is disconnected. That's going to change here in a moment. Changes to connected. That's it. The Calypso AB Mini is now paired and ready to use with AB Quantum. A side note here, however. The first time you pair the uh, Calypso AB Mini to the app, you may see a dialog box that looks like this. So you can update your firmware. There's a skip button. The skip button is there for an important reason. If you are downrange, in a critical environment, if you're in the middle of a shooting match, please do not try to pair your Calypso, or sorry, upgrade your firmware in the middle of a shooting match or when you're in a critical environment. Please use the skip function and do that later because you have the option to update your firmware from inside the settings menu here, and I'll demonstrate that here in a second. Another thing to note is know which device is yours. So I only had one option here because that's all I have on in the office. Um, but if you're at a class function, a demonstration, um, if you're at a shooting match, uh, an expo or something, there may be multiple. It's very likely somebody else has one of these units. Do not just pair the first unit that you see. Make sure you're pairing your unit. In this case, 0806FE is the unit that I have here because that's what it says on the bottom. And I want to make sure the rangefinder that I'm pairing is also my unit. It is, um, but make sure that you actually get these numbers correct and don't pair to somebody else's. Now, if you skip the firmware update, like I said a moment ago, so if I hit the three buttons here, I have the ability to remove the device entirely from the app. Maybe I want to attach it to something else, somewhere else, put it on another device, give it to a buddy, doesn't matter, you can remove it. But we also have the settings. By the way, clicking this gear icon takes you to the settings, device settings as well for that device. You can get there either way. We have a little bit of information here, including our firmware version, firmware date, but we can update our firmware here from inside AB Quantum. So if you have to skip your firmware update because you're in the middle of a match for whatever reason, you can come back and do it later uh, by forcing that update here with the update firmware button. We also have the ability to pair a laser rangefinder. We're going to demonstrate that later. That's going to be uh, a different part of this video. Right now, we have connected to the Calypso AB Mini, and I want to show you how to use it with AB Quantum. So I'm going to navigate down here to the Shoot menu. We're currently live streaming wind, and I have the Calypso sitting by a fan. The reason for that is just we're in the office. I want to get some good airflow. So you have a, a stop streaming and a streaming button down here at the bottom. And what you're seeing here is, number one, the Calypso works in a clock value system. But also you have a wind speed one and a wind speed two. 
So when you're using the Calypso AB Mini, the first thing that you want to do is you want to actually, on the top of the device, there's an arrow. Point that arrow at the target. We do not point the Calypso AB Mini north. We point it, the ballistic version, you point it directly at the target, and it will, it will automatically calculate your crosswind or headwind values for you. The other thing is, you'll notice that this wind speed number isn't changing, but this one is. This is the maximum wind speed that the device has encountered while it's sampling and will remain basically at your maximum gusting speed for a while. And this is the average wind speed that the device is currently seeing. So in this case, um, our current average wind speed is 24 or 34, and our gusting speed was 44 miles an hour. So just be aware that this is your current average wind speed or your active wind speed that it sees in real time, and this is your high gusting speed. This is your wind direction, and this is in clock, uh, clock values based on the offset from the target being here at 12 o'clock. Okay, that's, that's it. That's how you use the Calypso AB Mini with uh, AB Quantum. Now, if I go to the, the range card here, you'll see that these numbers actually will update in real time um, along with these changing variables. So you can use it with the range card in real time. You'll also see that they updates with the target card. So you can use the Calypso AB Mini on the target card page in real time. All right, um, and that's essentially it. If you want to stop streaming, you can hit this stop streaming button and the Calypso AB Mini will stop streaming in real time. And then you can start it back up by hitting the start streaming button again. So I'm just going to stop it right there, pause it, and it's no longer streaming live. That's, that's how you use the Calypso AB Mini with AB Quantum, though. It's that simple. Now, the last thing that I want to cover here is using the Calypso AB Mini with uh, a range finder. So you can pair this device to a laser range finder. I'm going to go into the settings here for just a second, and you'll see that I have this pair LRF function. If I open this up, you'll see I have that Kilo 10K Gen 2 available here that was available in the app. Now, you ha you, if you don't see it in this menu and you haven't paired it to the app, it's not going to be available. So make sure you see it here first. But you can see that that's there. And then I have a clear button. So if this Calypso AB Mini was paired to a rangefinder and I wanted to unpair it, you hit the clear button. But what if I have multiple devices? I'm going to go ahead and turn on another device here. And I'm going to activate this one as well. So here is a Leica Geovid AB Plus. And you can see here, now we have two devices available. Both of these have been previously paired to the app. Now I'm going to have those devices available as options. So yes, you can actually have multiple options here whenever you go to pair. And then just click cancel if you accidentally bumped this and didn't want to. Currently it's not paired to anything. Okay? But if you wanted to um, pair it to say the Kilo 10K Gen 2, I just selected that as an option. You can see the green Bluetooth symbol lit up. You can see this is the device that I wanted to pair to. It is now paired to the laser rangefinder, the Calypso AB Mini is. So I can use the Calypso AB Mini with the rangefinder independently. The app can be turned off in the background, it doesn't matter. If I wanted to switch devices, I could just open this menu and tap on the, the Leica and change it over to the Leica. It needs to be a compatible device for this to work. If I wanted to unpair the Calypso AB Mini from the range finder that it's currently paired to, I hit this clear button and it now removes it from that pairing. And that's how you use the Calypso AB Mini with the uh, Applied Ballistics Quantum app. If you have any questions or need any help, uh, feel free to contact us through the support function in the app. Just click the AB icon and you'll have that support function. You'll see it on other pages as well. You see it here. Uh, and send us your questions and we'll be happy to help you get started with that. Please like and subscribe to our videos and I hope you have a good day.